What's up everyone, my name is Soren Iverson. I'm a product designer at Cash App, and today I'm going to show you how to make radio buttons in Figma according with Google's material design guidelines. If you're not familiar with material design, I recommend first going to their website, which I've linked in the description. There you can learn about this component as well as many others, and you can also interact with live demos to see how things work in production. A radio button is a component that allows for a single option to be selected from a list. They help show all available options, but you can only choose one. They're a standard component that's been around for a long time, and you can easily add this through coding languages like HTML. Other selection controls include checkboxes and switches. Checkboxes are used when you can select multiple options, radio buttons are used to choose a single option, and switches are usually turning something on or off. The design of this is pretty simple. All I'm going to do is create a new frame. I'm going to change the dimensions of that frame to 20 pixels by 20 pixels. And I'm going to change this so that there is no fill, but there is a stroke and we'll change this to be that 600. And then I'm going to take the stroke here and I'm going to change that to two. I'll set the border radius to anything over 10. So that's perfectly round. We're going to take this and we're going to call it false. That might seem weird right now, but you'll see why I'm doing that in a second. I'm now I'm going to take this and I'm going to rename this true. And now I'm going to create an ellipsis. Let's have that be 10 by 10. And I'm going to paste this in the middle and then I'm going to set this to be that brand primary then I'm going to change this stroke to be that brand primary and then I am going to have this say true and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to create a component set we'll call this component radio and then we're going to set this property to select it the final thing I'll do is I'll take this false and I'm going to click and drag it over and say on click change to smart animate and we'll have this be 150 milliseconds you'll notice that I'm not going to have an ability to toggle this off because when you're working with radio components in real life you can't toggle them off once you've selected them let's look at this in context i'm going to create a frame let's set the dimensions of this to be let's say 300 by 300 and i'm going to take this and duplicate it a few different times around here and then i will go to prototype make this a flow starting point and then i'm going to hit play and then if i select these you can see that it's really easy to turn them on i can't turn them off though because that's not how radio buttons work and that's it. You've got a very simple radio component that you can use that aligns with Google Materials Design's documentation. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you now have a better understanding of radio buttons, how they work, and how to create your own in the future. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next video.